Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Wait, so, so Data Lord, what, what are you talking about? We're ta he's talking about using a larger number of smaller machines to do less tasks, and I'm talking about economies of scale, having one giant machine using virtual machines and doing it all on one machine. Yeah, why not go that route? No, I, I, I couldn't. Uh, I, there's just too much... I, I, it doesn't matter how much... If you virtualize you properly, then the base system doesn't do anything other than the virtualization, and then you don't run into the problems of the base system becoming unstable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but like... I, and you can reboot to the virtual machines from. very easily. No, I understand where you're coming from in terms of, like, virtual machines or whatever. But, like, if you have the ability to buy a dedicated machine to do a dedicated... Right, but, like, you're talking, like, like set-top boxes and still... commercial, like, application no, I'm, just talking, I'm just talking about for home. I, I'm just talking about, let's yeah. say you do enough of IT stuff at home, like I do. And um, I would have, like, a range of projects that I, that I work on. And um, I would prefer to have a machine for a particular task or a set number of tasks that are relatively small, like three or four. And just leave it running because some stuff I have to do, I have to let run overnight. But I couldn't let, let's say, <laughs> use a machine to, to browse the internet while I'm number crunching in an accounting application or something like that. Like I, 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 it just defeats the purpose. Like I prefer to work on a machine that's running a couple of tasks reasonably quickly rather than buying a monster machine that's capable of running a load of tasks but will be very slow in doing so. Well, that's kind of how I. Well, I don't have like a lot of computers in my house, but I have. Yes, you do, Chris. Well, no, I've got a few. Well, I'm giving one. I'm, six, right? I'm giving one away to to somebody. Uh, okay. Okay. Example. And he's what is Mac? me a MacBook. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So what is right? Right. What is Mac? Right. 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 Okay. So so okay, but that's the point. Is that for my live stream? I would never consider using my production machine or what I'm normally operating on. I would never consider using that. Uh, as the stream uh, computer, because the, yeah, it's it's exactly. very number one. I can Cam Twist only runs on OS 10. I cannot find a Windows equivalent. It does not exist. All Windows webcam software either sucks is, or is overpriced. Uh, and Cam Twist happens to be free, uh, and it's it good. But Flash kills your CPU, and Cam Twist, the way it captures things, kills your CPU. My Mac Mini, like I've only had to reboot it like a few times. Uh, since starting yeah. it up. That's pretty much all it does. The Mac Mini is a dedicated, it didn't start out this way, but it is a largely a dedicated machine for streaming and pretty soon what I'm likely to do, uh, given some experiences I've had with Comcast, is I'm actually setting up to get SDSL uh, and having a dedicated connection specifically for that streaming computer. So that I can, you know, pump it up, and that's all it does. Because right now it shares the connection, and believe you, even at lowest settings, it takes a lot of bandwidth away from my regular activity. So I, I'm having to realize, like, well, it'd probably be better if I got a dedicated connection. At that point, I, I'm just going to go with the DSL. But I do believe that it depends on the task that you're doing. It may make yeah. more sense to have dedicated machines if that's all that they're doing. As long as you're not, you know, a. Uh, if, if a they don't take up a lot of space and b you're not spending a lot more money because it, it, it is yeah, it is it is something that if you're talking about software intensive tasks it may be something that as sc Thor asserted where you'd be better off running virtual machines than than not true but the problem with virtual machines is that they're they're as a base unit they're still a single point of failure and you might have one virtual machine crashing completely and another virtual machine running, that's fine. But if the base machine goes down, you lose the good one as well. You lose the good virtual machine running. I, I can't afford that. So I would sooner go off and buy a smaller machine dedicated to a single task and running it reasonably well that is, you know, possibly, uh, maybe if it was an Intel system, I, I'd be able to upgrade it. But like, uh, I probably would buy a dedicated system with the, with the specs to make it last two years or thereabouts, like a laptop. Well, what kind of tasks um, are you talking about? Uh, number crunching ones, really. Um, I'm trying to get into multimedia and sound editing as well. So, like, they're they're all pretty memory intensive, CPU intensive, and um, like I have room in my apartment. I've got a good uh, electricity supply. I'm thinking about buying a couple of UPSs as well, and. Uh, rack mounting them so like I'll have the guest bedroom as a kind of a, 
uh, engineering tech and the enterprise, but that that's my plan. That is where I, I want to go with this. And um, I've been working in IT, Chris, since the Commodore VIC-20. Wow. <laughs> like yourself. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I've four function keys. I like and that's it. And I, I didn't own the computer until I was 21, but by then I was already an IT manager. <laughs> and uh, just, it was, it was crazy. Like I was working on everybody else's system. So now I'm out working. I have my own system at home. I have a crap internet connection. I want to, I want to get um, re rejigged all together. Uh, and I'm very good friends with the, with the ISP, so I might be able to do something there. But um, I just, I, I, I just. It goes back to my original my original argument is that when people say it shouldn't happen and, and going back to Kat's problem, it does. If you're using your machine for a lot of tasks, one thing, even unrelated, can make your machine break. I, I've seen it too many times, way too many times, even on my own system, um, which is running XP Service Pack 1, but for uh, for a variety of reasons. Uh, one is compatibility, but I've, I've made it work. And it's still working with the original install that, that I actually bought it in China uh, and built it in China. And uh, it still has XP Service Pack 1 and it's running. And there's no spyware. And I think it's only ever blue screened at me twice since 2004. Hmm. But that's a machine that I used for everything. And now I've got my MacBook Pro, my wife's got a VIO. I'm thinking about getting the Mac Mini, but you're just after saying. Something there that would change. Yeah, there might be a Mac Nano here instead of the Mini. Yeah. I think they're going with a Nano. But, but see, like, if, if the Macs, it, the great thing about the Macs are it, they're very responsive. You, you open a lid, it works. Yep. My, my, my wife's Vio takes forever. Yeah. Even, even I took Norton off it, it, it it's, takes it's, forever. That's largely because Apple controls the software and the hardware. Yeah. Yes, Cat? So I recommend, I recommend that Cat get a Mac. Cat, are you okay? Yeah, I can't even open your blog. Definitely got to fix this issue before well, tomorrow. Well, you're not you're not missing anything on my blog, really. It's just a whole bunch of... Well, no, but I think you'd like me to be able to get to it tomorrow so I can upload the videos. Yeah, that'd be nice, but... Uh, <laughs> well, you're having... Have you, I'm hoping just a reboot's going to work. Well, have you tried uninstalling Flash and then reinstalling it from the binary? Yeah. Oh. I had that issue. next. I had the issue with uh, Flash in Vista, and I had to uninstall it from the binary uninstaller and reinstall it from the binary install. I couldn't do it any other Did you way. Did you reboot between them, Chris? Uh, I can't remember at this point. I haven't had the issue uh, for a long while, but I did have that issue with Vista, and other people did as well. You might try installing the latest Flash beta, too, the one that supports HD and H.264. Yeah. Aren't computers uh fun... Isn't this just Always. fun? I love it. It's so much fun. I love it. You know, I, I eat it up. It's 